Our learning target today says, I can identify true equations. Remember, an equation is a number sentence or a mathematical sentence that has two equal sides separated by that equal sign. Which is really important today for you to notice because look here. Here's my equal sign. I might use a different color, friends. Here's the equal sign. <gasps> but here's the equal sign. <gasps> But over here is the equal sign, and then here is the equal sign. Be careful when you're looking at them. You need to make sure you're doing the adding part first, okay? Every day we've been adding on and making this a little more challenging. So take a look where the adding part is, and let's add that together. If it helps, you can underline it to help remind you, I need to add this part. Okay, what's 6 plus 2? Mm, it's 8. Now I'm going to think, does 8 equal 8? It does. So this is true. I'm going to circle it. Next one. 10 e oh, equals, okay, phew. 9 plus 2. Again, I need to do the adding part first. So what should I add together? The 9 plus 2. Okay, what's 9 plus 2? 11. Now I will look my sentence again. Does 10 equal 11? No. Cross it off. 8 plus 1 equals 11. Okay, I'm going to find the addition part first. Here it is. So what's 8 plus 1? 9. And now I'll go 9 equals 11. That's false. Let's put a big X in it. Last one. 9 equals 6 plus 4. Okay, what part do I need to add? I need to add the 6 plus 4. We do that step first. 6 plus 4 is 10. So now I'm going to think 9 equals 10. Is that true or false? It's false. They're not the same. 9 is not the same as 10. Now we're going to go do some practice ones. I want you to try these on your own, remembering you need to do the adding part first. I'll check in with you on each step. So 6 plus 1 equals 8. What step do you do first? The 6 plus 1. Okay, so think, what's 6 plus 1? That is 7. Finally, last step. Decide is 7 equal to 8. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up if it's true, thumbs down if it's false. It's false. Big X. Next one. 10 equals 8 plus 2. Step 1, what part do you add? Right there. Step 2, add it. Did you get 10? Step three, decide if it's true or false. Does 10 equal 10? That is true. 10 is the same as 10. Next one, seven plus two equals nine. What part do you add? Okay, go ahead. This is 9. Now decide, does 9 equal 9? That's true. Last one. 7 equals 5 plus 3. What part do I do first? You gotta do the things that are adding first. So you gotta add 5 plus 3. Did you get 8? Now you decide. The last step is, does 7 equal 8? True? False.
That's false. I'm going to draw an X on it. Alrighty, here we have our practice sheet today. Be careful, like we were doing on the other ones, you need to find where you need to add first. I can identify true number equations. Circle either true or false for each equation. It's very similar to what we've been doing. I am asking that you underline the part that you need to add. It will help you clue in to where that equal sign is so you don't get confused. So underline wherever that adding part is. I'll even do it down here in a couple for you. I want you to do the rest on your own. Underline where the adding part is. Below the part where you need to add, write what you're thinking. What's 7 plus 5? If you're not sure, you can always use your cubes. You could also use a number line. 7 plus 5 is 12, though. 12 equals 12. You decide. Circle true or circle false. The next set of directions says circle all the true equations. Again, show your thinking. What's 6 plus 4? That's 10. So again, you're going to think, does 10 equal 10? Either you'll circle it or put a big X through it. The last part. Got to be very careful with this. I am going to highlight it to show you, to notice. Notice where that equal sign is. You need to write true equations. You have to make sure that you put it in the correct order. So I will do one for you. Notice. I'm going to put a, th I think I might do the plus side first, actually, just because once I add these, then I'll know what goes here. So I'm going to do 2 plus 3. If I'm not sure what 2 plus 3 is, I could always use cubes to figure it out. 2 plus 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's what goes on the other side of the equal. Now my sentence actually reads 5 equals 2 plus 3, but it might make more sense to put the addition side in first. You got this. Take your time. Look closely at where those equal and plus signs are.